Hello guys and welcome to my second tutorial looking at my DMX 2.0. Today we're going to look at how you can set up and patch all your lighting fixtures. So the first thing we're going to do here is start a new show. So file and new. And now we're faced with a completely blank show. So in the setup tab is where we patch all our lighting fixtures. So to give you a basic explanation of how DMX control works, you connect all of your lights together using three pin or five pin DMX cable and then you assign each of your different lighting fixtures an address. This is your DMX address. A lighting fixture will have a certain number of attributes. Say a simple RGB LED Parkan has four channels, R, G, B, and dimmer. Well, that takes up four DMX addresses. So if we patch that fixture at DMX address number one, the next available channel for our next fixture will be five. But to get a better understanding of how DMX works and how you patch your different lighting fixtures, check out this tutorial here, which will go through all the basics of the principles of DMX. So in the software here, we have our full universe of DMX control, all 512 channels. And on the left here, we have our fixture library. So on the rig behind me, we've got a load of different fixtures, including pocket spots, uh, pocket washes, some LED pars, some LED bars, and a couple of big moving heads, the ADJ InnoSpot Pros. So I'm gonna start off by patching um, one of the American DJ inner pocket spots. So up here in the search section, we're gonna type in pocket spot. You'll see here under American DJ, I've got the option here for American DJ inner pocket spot. Click on it and it opens a drop down showing the different modes of the fixture. We can see here, one of them is 11 channels, one of them is nine channels. Now I have my pocket spot set up in 11 channel mode. So you've got several different ways you can patch your fixtures. First of all, you can just click and drag and then drop the light on the channel you want, like so. That's one way to patch your fixtures. You can also use this section down here where you can patch multiple fixtures at once. So I can select DMX Universe 1, I want it to be DMX Channel Number 1, and I want to patch two fixtures. Hit Patch and you'll see it's immediately patched two fixtures for us with the second fixture being patched at the next available channel. You can also see down here on our channel faders, we've now got all the attributes of the pocket spots. And I can go down here, turn on the dimmer and the shutter, and we can see we've already started controlling our lighting fixtures. And I can do that with the other fixture here. And there we go, both the inner pocket spots are now outputting light. So I've patched my two inner pocket spots here at the correct DMX addresses. My first fixture is channel one, and my second fixture is channel 12. So now I want to head and patch a pocket spot twins. We can see here we've got the mode option again. I want mode two, and I'm just going to drag and drop onto the channel. And we can put up our shutter and then our dimmer. And we've got the pocket spot twins working as well. If you look up at the top here, you'll also see a small section showing dip switch controls. If you've got a fixture that uses dip switches to address the DMX, you can see on here the correct dip switching you need for your particular fixture. So if I select the inner pocket spot twins, the dip switching will show the correct dip switch setup for DMX address number 23. Now the way my DMX 2.0 works is it assigns each attribute of your lights to a virtual fader, which you can see down here. You've got a scroll bar on the bottom here and you can scroll through all 512 channels of DMX. The first green fixture here is our first pocket spot. The second is the second pocket spot, and the third is the inner spot twins. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and patch another inner pocket spot twins, I could go and redrag in a new fixture, or I could right click on my first pocket spot twins and hit duplicate. And then I can choose how many fixtures I want. Let's say I want another three of them, press OK, and it'll immediately duplicate that fixture using the next available DMX addresses. If you want to delete a fixture, simply right click and delete. You can also assign custom colors to any of your fixtures. Simply right click, get down to the color options, and you've got eight different colors to choose from. And you'll see down here in the channel faders, it's changed the color of our fixture. Now you can also rename your fixtures. So I can right click here on the first inner pocket spot, press rename, and call it pocket spot left. And now it's renamed, so I can easily identify which fixture is which. Now my DMX 2.0 doesn't just work with American DJ fixtures. As you can see here in the library, we have a whole variety of different manufacturers of lighting fixtures. Now, if for some reason your fixture profile doesn't show up inside the library here, you can press this button here, which will allow you to import SSL2 files, which are fixture profiles that you may be sent by the guys at American DJ, or you may be able to find online. 
In addition to that, you can create your own custom fixture profiles using the piece of software up here called Scan Library. I'll talk more in detail about this software in an upcoming tutorial. But for now, that's really the basics of how you can set up and patch your fixtures with MyDMX 2.0. So now I need to go ahead and patch the rest of my lighting fixtures, and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll talk more about how you can start taking control of your lighting fixtures and create your basic looks. Make sure you check out the first link in the description below to go watch the full playlist of my DMX tutorials. And also, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.